Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. For those of you who are new, my name is Sierra and welcome to today's video. I just want to say thank you for watching. As you can read from the title of the video, me and my mom basically made chilchin, which is a Navajo dish. Um, we made it about two to three weeks ago when I did go back to the res and unfortunately my intro did not save. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So first, you're gonna get your bowl. And how many cups of water is in here about? Probably about six. five or six cups, somewhat. My mom just eyeballs it. And then here, what is this, mom? Chilchen. What kind of berry is it? Do you know the English word? No. I don't know. It's a berry you can find on the res. You can find it at um, trading posts, a nappy. Na I think nappy grows their own. Ooh. So you put however amount you want to put in there depending on how red you want it and how tasty you want it my mom just eyeballs it <laughs> put seven in it maybe about seven little spoonfuls yeah you let the water heat up tojanisto by the way we have some stew boiling over here well, let me give you a close up of this 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 is a berry that you basically pick off of a bush. They're usually found in creeks, along creeks. And then you ground up the berry. So it comes out like this. Then, wait till it boils. You let it boil for a little bit after it starts boiling. So probably about boil for about five minutes. So we'll get back when it starts to boil. And then the reason why you want it to boil for five minutes is so that the water can get rid. Let's just wait. Alrighty, so she already had water in here. How much water, like three cups, two and a half? Yeah, Probably two and a half, two cups. Then she put flour in there. Cold water. Then you mix the water in the flour. Mostly we use bluebird flour what we mainly use on the reservation. So you mix this, you kill all the, the lumps. Let me do it. So you kind of want it like a kind of thick gravy like. You know what, I don't remember the last time I ate this. I think it was in one of my vlogs when I was at a flea market and I bought it. You gotta make sure to mix it good. Your hand might get tired, so just switch to the other side. You might have an electric one. Oh, how many cups of flour was in there? Probably one and a half, maybe. I think it was about one and a half cups. Just about. We usually don't measure. I'll try to find a recipe online. And if there's one, I'll link it below in the video description. Uh, also, other people might make it different. I don't know. It's up to where you live, how you learn to make it. It's kind of watery, so you can add a little bit more flour. It's kind of like pancake texture, huh? Yeah. Kind of like making it like when you're making pancakes. It's kind of thick, but not watery. That's the only best way I could describe this. I think this looks good. Look at that. We might not even use all of it. We just, we're just trying to make a little bit more. So we have enough and you can tell the, the thickness of it when you add it. You can feel it when you, you know, stir in the pot. 
Look at this is starting to boil a little. Water's red now. This also gives it all the flavor. Let it boil. Mm -hmm. She just added a little more. Again, you're just gonna eyeball it. My mom has experience, so she knows. <laughs> if I were to make this on my own, I would probably need a recipe. Or I could just wing it. That's how grandma used to always do her her food. She would just eyeball it. <laughs> so this looks kind of, yeah, looks like it's ready. Okay. So now you're gonna steer, you have to steer at the same time, huh? Yeah. You have to steer it and then pour. Wait, let me stir this up. Tomorrow. Pour your mix at the same time. Okay. What happens if you don't? It gets clumpy? Yeah. If you just see, look, there's all the lumps still. It's pretty thick. Wow. Huh? You gotta keep steering it. It's almost like gravy, huh? Yeah. Just with the berries. Then you let it boil for a, a bit again. You have to keep steering the whole time though. Not the whole time while it's boiling, do you? No? Yeah. Or else it's gonna stick to the bottom. So you do steer it until you turn off the stove until it's done. Like I said, we make a little bit more than what we need. Sometimes if you make less and you try to, you know, when you after you mix it like this and it's still not thick and you decide to make some more and pour it in, it's going to get lumpy. So that's why you got to... You got to make sure you have extra. Yeah. Extra on hand. Chilchen toshchen. What are Chilchen toshchen. My grandpa, one of my grandpas used to call it Atolachi. Atolachi. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that was his own name for it. Yeah, it's not too hard. You just gotta make sure you have the berries though, because that's, that's sometimes hard to, to come by, huh? Yeah, oh. um, if there's a bad drought, then you don't get it. But if, if, if there's a lot of moisture, it'll, it'll, it'll be plenty of berries. I remember we always then, used to pick the berries when we were Then you little. add sugar. Sugar is the sweet part. Oh yeah, you add your sugar when you put it in your own bowl. Or you can mix it here too. Oh, Probably see. like a half a cup, you just stir it in. Then the whole thing will be um, sweet. Maybe a half cup. So yeah, I remember we always used to all get in the truck when we were little and pick these. <laughs> used to pick them all day, huh? Yeah. Well, probably eat them all. Two to three hours. Felt like all day when you're a little kid. <laughs> My mom said it was only about two or three hours. <laughs> There's the sugar. Maybe about half a cup, maybe. A fourth to a half a cup. Depends how sweet you like your stuff. Not too sweet. And there you go. There you well, there you have it, you guys. I am going to munch on this. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment down below if you know how to make this, if you tried it. If you've never tried it, let me know in the comments. All right, you guys, bye.